All right, now today we're going to learn about what's the difference between a uh, WordPress.com and having your own server to host your WordPress and just the major difference, okay? So let's say I will go to WordPress.com, okay? It's actually a blog based website. So WordPress allows you to create beautiful blogs at, um, it's actually for free if you choose to use .wordpress.com, but if you were to use your own uh, domain name, I mean, uh, you don't want the WordPress.com, you just use the .com. Uh, you're going to pay WordPress money, okay? It's going to be about $99 per year, which is kind of reasonable. And right here at WordPress.com, you can create your own website, follow through every single thing, okay? It's fairly easy, okay? So, I'm going to show you something different. A lot of people mix up this too, okay? WordPress.com and using your own hosting and domain and WordPress as a template, as a whole new story. Okay, so next, move on. Okay, I'm using Bluehost. You can choose to use uh, GoDaddy, HostGator. We have Godian. We have lots of different platforms. So I'm using Bluehost. Okay, uh, it's a US-based server. It's not very fast, but uh, so uh, it's easy to use. But I'm actually using it for quite a while already. So uh, it's a trust. It's a trustable platform that you can use. All right. So log in. Right. So this is how you do it. First of all, installing WordPress onto your domain name. Right. You you will have to have a hosting. Okay. So sign up for the hosting on Bluehost. Okay. And I'm going to teach you something. So with your hosting, if you sign the middle or the advanced package, you should have the domain capacity of ten or more. Okay. So that means you can host more than ten domains on one single hosting okay that's the one that you need right so very important you have to buy your own domain or buy additional domains if you want to host more than one domain so it's right here at the domain okay choose your own domain for example i want something like uh jazz jazz jazz.com okay so just for example okay jazz jazz jazz.com all right so it's telling you that uh, you have domain as low as $12, you can save $4 or something. Okay, so it's going to tell you whether is it available. Oh, yes, 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 dot com is taken. All right, so it's going to suggest you to buy dot co dot club dot us dot space or all sorts of other things. Okay, so you can, you can choose, you can keep on choosing until one is available. Okay, you're going to buy the domain. After you buy the domain, okay, so if you are using the same host to host different domains okay uh it works the same way but you have to use the add-on okay it's called the add-on domain all right let's go to wordpress website and install wordpress this is what you need okay okay this thing right here and the stuff at the bottom is very very misleading okay you're not gonna need this so you're not gonna pay for this as well all right so these are all the domains I have. Alright. Alright. Three different domains. So whichever one I want to install WordPress on it, I just click install. Okay, next is gonna show me uh, which one do I want to install on. Okay, so for example I want to install on this one right here, which is actually already installed. I'll just click okay. Remember always choose the one with www dot not the one at the bottom. It's very different, okay? There's a reason for this, uh, you need www, but just choose www, okay. So, after this, you're going to check domain and if it's successful, it's going to give you a green light and it's done, okay. So, it's that simple. So, after this, okay, remember your domain URL, let's say the gamingbeast.com, the login, okay, for this, is different from wordpress.com that I showed you earlier on. You don't have to go to wordpress.com, you just have to key in your domain name. For instance, this one right here is the gamingbeast.com. Insert this thing at the at the back. Okay? Slash WP dash admin. So this is how you log in to a self-hosted domain name using a WordPress template. Okay. So all you are doing right now is having your own domain name, having your own host, but you are using WordPress template. Okay, if you're asking me, then how will WordPress earn money? Actually, yes, they do earn money from selling you more templates, from 
earning commissions from people who sell you template or plugins. Okay, so uh, this is another story as well. But let's check whether the the log the the, the URL works. Okay, so it's www dot the domain name slash WordPress admin WP in WP dash admin. Okay, this stands for WordPress admin. So once you're in, it looks it looks like something like that. Okay. So you, you will have your username and your password on your backend on your email. Okay, I'll show you where the backend is. It will be sent to your email as well. Just in case uh, it's not in your email. Where you can find that, okay? Let me show you here. It's gonna take very 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 long, so let's be patient and wait. Uh, why not just let me sing you a song? No, I'm just kidding. Okay. Come on, come on. All right. Okay, show advanced option. This is where you set your site title. Okay. Look at this. Username and password. This username and password will be the username and password for you to log into your website. Okay. So it is for you to log into the website right here. Okay. So after you have logged in, it's up to you to play with the website. You know, we have plugins, you have many many different templates. And one of the major difference for using the self-hosted ones are uh, you can actually add a lot of other third-party developed templates. Okay, but if you are using WordPress.com, they doesn't have such such stuff. So this is what I have for you. Now uh, remember, the login is WP admin following behind your domain name all right so if you have any questions drop uh, your questions at the comment section below and I'll try to answer them as soon as possible or you want me to do any other a uh, tutorials for you regarding a WordPress just let me know all right so thank you very much and have a good day bye